good. But as you can see from the title, I am going to help out my ladies or even my men that are starting their first day of being a nanny on care.com. Y'all know I have been doing that since I, since I first moved out. When I first moved out the first time, I started the care.com process and honey, that brought me in a lot of money and I still do it to this day. So clearly I love it and I want to help y'all out if y'all are looking to do it too. I just did my hair super cute too, right? Okay, so for this video, you will figure out, you know, basically what to expect for your first day of going into a stranger's house, watching their kids alone, and what you need to bring and be prepared for for your first day on the job, all right? My first day on the job, of course, yo, I was dumb nervous. I was so anxious to see what is this family gonna be like? What is their house gonna be like? How are things gonna go? And it was just so much anxiety. And the family that I babysat for for the first time was a German family. They had recently moved from Germany and it was three kids. It was a infant about six or seven months. Actually, I'm lying, that baby was really young. The baby was probably like four or three months. It was a really young infant. It was a two-year-old and then it was also a six-year-old. So that was three kids I had to watch. And my first day, we actually set up an appointment. So that's what I recommend for your first day, before you even go into the jobs, before you even start caring for the families, ask them to set up a interview for you because I just suggest to figure out, you know, what do they expect? What is the environment I'm gonna be watching them look like? What does the neighborhood look like? You just wanna make sure this is something that you feel comfortable with before you give them the okay and start working for them because you're gonna to have to enter and exit that place every day and every night if you don't feel safe in the neighborhood. You're gonna be the one that has to be on home alone with these kids, whether if they have pets, uh, maybe you're scared of dogs, you have to be the one doing that. So that's why I say just make sure you set up a little interview. And my interview was actually at the family's house, but you can have it at Starbucks. You can set up an interview at a local park around other people and this is just basically precaution okay my number one tip for your first day is take precaution and don't be a don't be oblivious okay <laughs> that's a time don't be oblivious and make sure you're getting yourself into something that you actually want to now i would say i really did i have interviews i think i had two interviews out of like seven or eight families i babysat for no i'm lying I've had about three interviews with the families and at first I'm like an interview like this ain't no job but it is a whole job like it may be a lot more serious than a regular job because this is somebody's home these are people's children and that's nothing to play with before the first day have your interview have a folder I walked in my first day just like the like I was going in for my first job I had a little folder y'all I walked in with a little folder my nice little professional outfit on looking like I'm ready for an interview. And in my folder, I basically had um, a resume. I had my certifications in there to say, I'm CPR certified, I'm Montessori certified, I'm fire safety certified, just to you know back yourself up and negotiate that pay. Because I'm pretty sure if maybe you guys haven't like, talked about the pay in the messages, you don't wanna talk about it at the interview. So you need stuff like that to back up and explain to them, I expect to be paid $20 because I have all of this an hour. I expect to be paid $15 an hour because I can do this, this, and this. So in my folder, I had everything to back myself up and um, that definitely helped me. And I had like a copy of my schedule, basically like my availability. So if they ask me, oh, in June, what is it looking like? Next week, what is it looking like? I have my availability so I don't make any decisions don't mess me up because I'm gonna overbook myself. So yeah, after the interview, it's time to go in for your first day. I was ridiculously anxious and wondering how it was gonna go because in my situation, the mom was not gonna leave the house. I was gonna babysit the kids while the mom was at home with me 
because she just basically needed help. Like she had three kids, the husband wasn't there. So it was just like me and the mom and the kids. So I was kind of anxious like, oh my gosh, she's gonna be watching me. She's gonna be trying to figure out if I'm good or not. She's gonna be analyzing me. And that was my first time doing something like that, like babysitting with the parents there. So um, for your first day, I really suggest that you come prepare. Prepare yourself, okay? Prepare for yourself and also prepare for the kids. Now, when I say that, I'm meaning I came prepared as and I brought my lunch because you're gonna get hungry. Who says you're gonna like what the family is cooking? Because a lot of times the mom will offer me, you know, like their soup or, you know, whatever they would eat. But like I said, they were German, so we really didn't have the same type of eating habits. So sometimes I would be hungry, but I made sure I brought my lunch on my first day because, you know, you gotta make sure you got energy for these kids. You gotta chase after kids. You gotta watch these kids. So I brought my lunch and I just placed it in their fridge or whatever. And then I also made sure I brought a whole bunch of like toiletries in my bag that I needed deodorant, um, feminine products if needed. I brought all of that stuff. Um, you never know, bro. Like the craziest things can happen when you're working. Like your cycle may start, you may forget you have de deodorant on, now you're super musty and you gotta walk around the house like this because you don't want nobody to see you. Like bring an extra shirt if you are a sweaty person. That would happen to me a lot. I would be outside with the kids running, running, running. And I still have like five hours on the shift and my under arms are like, I got sweat stains, okay? So come prepare, have extra clothes, bring that lunch, bring extra lotion, bring deodorant, bring all that stuff so that you make sure you are straight and you are prepared for the worst and prepared for the best. And then also prepare for those kids, okay? Like I said, when the kids are leaving their parents, I just watched a video of myself about my first time babysitting not on care.com, just babysitting period. And I was talking about how the kids are very reluctant when their parents are leaving. They're screaming, they're running from you, they don't wanna be by you, they're upset, they want their mom, they want their dad. They don't want nothing to do with you for the first 10 to 15 minutes. And sometimes that can last an hour. So be prepared to get your feelings hurt, okay? <laughs> Be prepared to get your feelings a little hurt, if that hurts your feelings or not. I know I would kind of get, not sad, but I would just, you know, be wishing that the kid would be okay with me and we just be fine with their mom leaving and have some fun with me because I'd be like, you wanna go paint? You wanna go upstairs? So yeah, if you're a person that gets sensitive about that, just be prepared because they don't wanna leave their mom and dad. They're babies, they're toddlers, they're, kids who wants to leave their mom and dad and be with a complete stranger they've never seen in their life but that's why i say have the interview because the kids will get to see you you will kind of get to talk to them and let them know hey johnny you know i'm gonna be here tomorrow and guess what we're gonna do we're gonna color we're gonna paint we're gonna go outside and i think that i actually brought coloring sheets my first day i was so prepared i brought coloring sheets that i had printed out or took out of a book or something and I brought that to my interview because they said, you know, you can get to know us, we can get to know you, you can get to know the kids. And that was amazing because it really made my first day go by a lot smoother um, because the kids are usually running from you. They're screaming, they're screaming for hours. Sometimes they may scream the whole shift because they just are not used to it as something new. So me bringing those coloring sheets for the kids on my interview was helpful because when I came back, they were excited. They already saw me. They were like, oh my God, we're gonna have fun with her. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna do this. They were ready. The mom let them know that, oh, Miss Kendall's coming back and everybody was prepared, which was amazing. So those kids actually were not, they were not screaming or running from me or any of those things. But like I said, the mom was there. So it's a little different like that, but still. The interview will help you prepare and get to know the kids. So your first day will not go too bad when it comes to separating from the mom and dad and you being stuck there with the kids after the first hour and they are not comfortable. My first day I came in and it was just a lot of routine. You know, it was a lot of learning 
where do I go to get their clothes, mom showing me around and teaching me stuff, and I would say soak it all in, try and remember stuff, try and take note of things that is important, okay? Have those activities for the kids. Your first day, you want to come in and have things to distract them. If they are throwing those fits and are upset, have some toys in your bag, have a coloring book, have some books. Like I will always bring things like that so that just in case if they didn't have toys at the house, because sometimes I would go babysit for families for the first time. Let's talk about a different experience. Like the first family I babysat for, they were German. They were pretty well off. They had tons of toys. They had a ton of space. They had furniture everywhere. In contrast to another time I babysit for a young black family, they had just moved in and they had no furniture. Like, I think they had like a table and some chairs in there. And then upstairs, of course, they had the beds and stuff. But in the downstairs living area where I would be watching the, girl, the baby girl, it was no furniture. Okay. So that was kind of an adjustment for me. I had to like improvise and just try and find ways to entertain this baby. So I would bring bubbles. I would bring toys, balls, all this type of stuff just because you want to be prepared. And having an experience of, you know, the black family and the German family, it was pretty different. It was pretty different to see, I would say. But I would say I liked both of those families. It was really good relationships. Like, build relationships with the family. Be open and be honest. Don't try and lie. Don't try and hide who you really are. Just be open and honest because making relationships with these families is not unmatched, but it's it's a good thing to make your time while you're there enjoyable. Like they start treating you like family. They start including you in a lot of stuff, inviting you to their outings and you get to make a lot of money. Having the two different two different households, like the German household that was, you know, fully equipped, well off, and then having a different household that didn't have all the resources maybe that I needed, like somewhere to sit or, you know, not much things to use in the house. It really became something that I had to learn. Like you need to go in there your first day and have an open mind. Don't judge people. Don't judge people's situation. Don't judge their households because everybody's life is different. Everybody's normal is different. And everybody's pockets is different. So if you're doing this job, you off rip have to be open. You can't be reluctant and judge and be like, oh, they don't got no furniture, they broke. Oh, they don't got this, they broke. Oh, they got all this stuff, they too bougie. No, everybody is different. And you know that when you're signing yourself up on care.com, it's tons of people in there. It's tons of different races. It's tons of different kids and different types of kids. And you just need to be open and you just need to have open arms to learn about this family, to work with this family. That is your job, to connect and protect and watch these kids, okay? And to actually watch and understand a kid, you have to learn about who they are. And how else are you gonna learn about who they are from their parents, from their routine? That helps you understand the kid better to better watch them and better have activities for them and better get to know them. Why am I saying better? That don't sound right, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. To learn the kid, you have to learn about what has made them how they are. Learn about what they like. Learn about what they're used to. And that will help you as a caretaker because you like, all right, TT like cars? I'm going to get cars for her. TT likes to eat noodles? We can make noodles together. Or TT likes to paint that's general stuff, but you just need to know the kids because it'll make your time a lot easier, girl. Like, I, I promise, I'm telling you, but do not go broke. That's something I would say. I did kind of catch myself one time buying a lot of stuff for one of the little girls because me and their mom had made it. Me and their mom and dad, this was the young couple that I'm talking about that had just moved in. We had a great relationship, like... I was there like every day, it's like 12 a.m. watching their kid and it would just be like a text like, hey Kendall, you wanna get so-and-so? Hey, can you wanna come pick up so-and-so? That It even got to the point where they would let me take the little girl with me to my house. They would let me take her to the park and that meant a lot to me. That meant they trusted me. It was just a great relationship. So 
I just started buying stuff for the girl I'll be in the store like oh this would be cute for her oh we could do this together but don't go broke trying to buy activities for the kids because mm, you can get creative get on Pinterest find things that you can make out of water bottles with sand make maracas water painting outside on the concrete like don't go broke buying activities I would suggest having some staple ones but don't go broke doing it and all of this stuff is just to basically help y'all for y'all first day because I had to just jump in and experience it and learn different things and I'm not gonna lie like I said I was really nervous um I wasn't really thinking the worst as in because I know it was a thought like, people would be like oh you have to go in somebody's house for the first time and babysit their kids you better hope they're not crazy you better protect yourself and I would say definitely protect yourself too I didn't I still don't have any well let me not say that I didn't have any protection. I didn't have, I didn't go in the house with like pepper spray or knives or any of that stuff just because it's not really safe to have around kids, but just be on guard and be aware of your surroundings, okay? If there's somebody else at the house while you're babysitting, just be aware. If the husband's there, if the boyfriend's there, just be aware, okay? Because I've had times where you know, maybe the mom will go to work and it's just me and the little girl to the dad goes to work or the dad comes home from work. And sometimes like that, it would kind of be a little, I don't know. I think anytime I'm around men alone, it's a little like, I got my eyes on you, like, <laughs> you know, so I'm glad I've had great experience with all of them, but just be on guard and be prepared. Don't be oblivious to stuff. Don't put all your trust into them, but trust them because making good relationships makes you more money. But that's honestly, I don't want to talk about y'all too much about your first day of care.com meeting, but y'all know I love it. I suggest it. I don't know how much money I have made off of it, but just as much I make at my job, my pay rate at my job is my pay rate on care.com. And you decide that. Okay, so be ready. And if you guys have any questions or want a story time, I think I have a few more stories about my care.com babysitting. Because it's crazy. I literally used to be on YouTube searching up care.com babysitting stories even before I became a care.com babysitter because I just thought it was super interesting. So if y'all want more care.com babysitting stories, drop them below. Every week I'll be updating you guys about some care.com tips, care.com experiences, and we're gonna go up okay so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye beautiful